It's lovely. You're into crop circles? Huh? I have been in the past. What do you make of crop circles? Okay. Okay. Okay, hold it for a moment. All right. Okay, so I, um, I had just finished typing up some questions from a chapter at the back of a psychology book for a, an, an exam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So in the dream, I'm at UCI, and I'm like in a kind of maybe the rec center of a student union or something. Maybe there's pool tables there where students are playing, some TVs, couches, something like that. And around the corner is a place where you can purchase some electronics. And it seems like Miles' old girlfriend is there. That's somebody who I used to work with. Um, the lady he married. And she's waiting on me, or some Korean girl who's similar to her. But because it was offered, or because I just found out about it, there's some sense of this being a reaction or reactionary. I'm buying a phone. Oh, brother. Okay. Mm. Um. Uh -huh. Because I just found out about it, that is, that you're buying a phone. Is that, how does that fit? Um. You know, that doesn't ring a bell for me at all. I don't know even what that refers to. Because it was offered, like maybe it was a sale. No, no. They offered no, me a phone. It, no. I just found just that. Just stay with the dream. Yeah. Right? The dream is just what it's saying, so we don't need to add unless it's there. Right? Yeah. Okay, no. I don't okay. know. That's fair. Go ahead. Next. Okay, so now I've recently maybe within the last 24 hours, just bought another phone for myself with the same number, my same number. And now I'm telling myself and this girl, these people, because somebody asks, you know, about why I'm buying a phone. And I say, well, I'm going to put it in my car, keep it in my car. Now I'm thinking, this will be another phone with another number. And I'm imagining that I'm going to keep it just in my glove compartment of my car. Now it's feeling a little weird to me and I'm feeling like I've got to come up with a reason to try to fool myself or make it sound rational. So I'm thinking and I say, oh yeah, I'm going to get a phone so I could keep it just in my car so that if I'm ever up in LA, for example, and something happens and I had forgotten my regular phone, I'll have the means whereby I can call back here to get help. I'm thinking of calling someone like Tony and the place where I might go and get stuck is like UCLA. So I repeat this to the girl, the blonde girl or the Korean girl, who I'm thinking is Miles' wife, <laughs> who used to be a cog sized student at UCI. <laughs> it's like a chorus. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. And I think it's a blue phone, a really pretty blue phone. A blue, a blue cover and stuff, like the color of blue I've seen on cars on the road lately. Sky blue almost, intense sky blue, robin egg blue. But it's also something like maybe a darker blue, more like a royal blue, something in the middle there. And I'm not paying that much. It seems like I'm only paying about 35 or $50 or something. And I have this feeling that I've known before in real life when I've bought something and I wondered, should I be doing this? And in the past, it would turn out that I shouldn't have bought it because I really ended up needing the money for something else. Or it could be that same state, but where I find that no, there was no need to worry because it did turn out okay. I didn't need the money for anything else. Ah, oh, brother. Okay, next. In any case, right after I buy it, this girl, and I'm thinking it's Eunice, 
the Korean girl, who used to work for me at UCI in the lab, a Korean girl. She asks something about where I'm parked, and I tell her that I'm over in the shopping center across the street. It's some distance, and she offers to drive me, and I take her up on it. And it seems like I'm busy and can use the savings of time, cause, or my shoes are tight, or it's late, or something. So we walk down the steps of the building, and we get down to the area, like the area behind the social science complex, behind the newer buildings there. It's kind of enclosed by the buildings, and there's another set of steps. And as we're getting close to her car, there are some other Korean students and some Korean adults. And what's happening is that a girlfriend of one of the Korean boys died. And they're having some kind of a memorial service for her, or they're getting ready to go to a funeral for her or something. And I make some, and they see her with me, and some of them kind of know me or know about me or something. And there's some smiling, and then we get down by her car, and she says, oh, just hang on a second. I just need to go do something. And she runs up the little steps, and while she's gone, there's some trees there and I can kind of hear their leaves rustling in the wind. So it might not be dark yet, it might be late afternoon. But I have a kind of a, I hear a voice, and I look, and it's this Korean woman's face in the very colorful, brilliant, striped, colorful headgear. It's like a married woman, but older woman. And she's kind of coming up, her head is coming out of having been down, and she's kind of shaking her head, turning it a little and saying, oh, I hate myself. So this is just a vision I'm having in the dream. And I think, why does she hate herself? What's going on? And it seems like she had been sleeping or something. She's not aware of people around. In real life, and then I woke up because I had fallen asleep at the computer typing this test as I finished this chapter, and was getting ready to go into the next chapter. And so when I woke up, and I had the same, I wondered, do I hate myself? Because I feel weird typing up a test like this. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh, what, what do you make of it? It just seems like there's so much conflict and contradictions yeah. and incompletions. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's good. It's a mess. No, no, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, mm. What would you say is the goal in the first paragraph? Ah, the goal in the first paragraph. Yeah. I don't think there is a goal. Um, I'm hanging out at the rec center. And um, I, um, I don't think there is no goal. No goal. In the first paragraph, would you read it? Yeah, in the dream I'm at UCI, yeah. and I'm at a rec center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's an electronics place around yeah. the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go ahead. And then because it was offered, or because I just found out about it, there's some sense of this being a reaction or reactionary? Oh yeah, I'm buying a phone. Right. I'm in the process of buying a phone. Right, right, that's a goal then. I'm in the process of buying a phone. Okay. Is that right? Well, yeah. I'm doing it. Yeah, well, I am in the process. Right. I'm buying a phone. I'm buying a phone. What do you think of that? Well, I mean, in the next paragraph. No, no, no. Oh. It's the first paragraph. Okay, what do I think of buying a phone? I think it's a. Um, I have mixed feelings about it. Yeah, what are they? 
Well, on one hand, um, it, it angers me to think that I have to buy some piece of equipment to carry around. And, um, but it seems very personal. And, um, and yet very non-personal at the same time. Um, it's, um, I have mixed feelings about it. On one hand, it could be very expen it could be very complex, complicated, or it could be very simple. And, um, So I guess there are decisions that need to be made when buying a phone. And I don't, I don't, I resent having to make those decisions. Make the decisions or? Those decisions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. That's an interesting state of mind, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, could you read uh, the, it again? Because there's one word and a bunch of things follow from it that interests me. Could you okay. do it again? Yeah. In the dream, I'm at UCI, and I'm in a kind of maybe the rec center of a student union or something. Maybe there's pool tables where students are playing, some TVs and couches, something like that. And around the corner is a place where you can purchase some electronics. And it seems like Miles' old girlfriend is there, the lady he married. And she's waiting on me or some Korean girl who's similar to her. And because it was offered, uh -huh. or, yeah. What's the first ring? Because? Because it was offered. Because it was offered. Yeah. Second. Or because I just found out about it. Right, like it's new. To Third. Uh, you know, there's some sense of this being a reaction or reactionary. I'm buying a phone. Yeah. And there's some kind of a, you, you realize that you're into some kind of thing that's a reaction. Right. Which is not specified, right? Right. So, what, what do you make of those three? Well, that's uh, <clears throat> interesting. Yeah, what way? Well, um, if it was offered, well, what does that, if it just, what would that mean in terms of See, I am in the process of buying a phone. Right. Uh, well, uh, yeah. But, or however, one, two, three. The reason I'm doing it is because of what? Well, f oh, wait a minute. That process is not here. I actually just added that. It's in the okay. dream or not? No, it's, the process part is not there. It just says I'm buying a phone. But it, it seems like... <clears throat> I don't mind that okay. the process is mm -hmm. not there. Okay. It's the, are the points that follow because? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What okay. do you make of those three? Okay. It's like I have a problem here that if it's offered, I feel like I have to say yes. Thank you. Even though, come on, finish it. Even though I don't even need one, I just bought one within the last 24 hours. You have to do it because it was offered? Apparently, or yeah. because, or, or because. Or, or you just found out about it, so. Yeah. And you have some reaction to it. Right. Yeah, yeah, what do you make of that? Hmm. Uh, I feel I have to say yes. See? And that angers me. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
You got the whole dream in that first paragraph, the others follow it. Uh, can you tell me, this is a, this is a very, I, what is this like? I feel, I feel I have to say yes. All right. Because look here, it was offered, or I just found out about it, or I got some reaction, so uh, it angers me. Even if I got it, you carry it around. On the other hand, it's personal. Uh, I resent having to make right. these decisions, right? Myself. Yeah. What's good for yeah. me? Yeah, right, right. I can't right. do that. Right, right. I'm not, I don't know why. I just, it's like I have to take it because somebody's offering it. That's right. Because, I have yeah. to take it. Yeah. I can't say no or I can't, can't say no. come up with a reason. Or yeah, yeah, right. Oh, thanks. And uh, so, yeah, so it's weird. It's yeah, really that has a, amazing. See, that, these, one, two, three, four, that has a history, doesn't it? In your life, doesn't it? What'd you say? I guess. I, yeah. I, I don't have, let's see. I feel I have to say yes. Because it's offered? On the other hand, I resent having to make these decisions. I can't say no. Damn it, I can't make a decision for myself or for myself. For myself, yeah, I can't make a decision for myself. Yeah. I can't. Right. Uh, to benefit myself. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, that's right. And it's like, um, oh, shoot, it's creepy. It's, it's cre it is creepy. It's, it's like I'm up against some kind of force that's just. Yeah, right. Yeah, that feels like what? Impenetrable. It's like dark and then overwhelming and um, like quicksand or something. Just, I can't make distinctions. I can't. Think. I can't see. Um, I can't get my thoughts together. It's just. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now this is this is very rich. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I mean, powerful. Yeah. Right? Uh, right, it's very, right, it's dark, it's overwhelming. Right? Right. It's like quicksand. You can't think or say or think or uh, collect your thoughts. Right. Can't think of what's right or wrong, what's good or bad. Yeah, that's all. What's me and them. Can't, it's just, can't, it's right, just I disappear right at wrong, that point. Right, that's right. And I just have to go along with what's offered. Right. I, it's, it's a, I have to, right? Right. 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 No, I, right. I have to go on. Yeah. Oh, by the way, could you finish that thought? Otherwise, uh, what would happen to you? What comes up? Well. Well, I have to go along. Yeah. Uh, uh, because. 
If I don't, what would follow? Come on, what comes up for you? Well, I guess, you know, to be thinking f about myself and what I want, I'd be separating myself from them. I'd be, yeah, separating myself from the other people. Yeah, that, was, that would be being what? You're separating yourself from that people. Would be, um, Boy, just to have my own mind. Pardon me? Having my own mind. Yeah, but on the other hand, you'd be separating yourself from people. Right. What kind of condition would that be? Come on. Pleasant, unpleasant? What? Be separating yourself from people. Oh, wow. Well, um, oh, okay. Well, okay. I, in terms of what I was working on with typing up this test, the same problem is there. So I'm hoping that whatever I see here, I'll be able to apply to that problem, to that situation, because I'm not using my own mind right. in my classroom. Yeah, you're not allowed to. Right. Right. Who are you to think you have a mind and the right, right to choose anything? Right, I agree with them. Right. 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 Yeah. So, this is ancient. Where does it go? So dark, overwhelming, like quicksand. Can't see. Right. Can't think of it. Uh, I, I can't think of whether it's right or wrong. I have to go along with it because if I don't, right? That, how old is that? How, how far back can you go with that state of mind? Um. Well, I mean, I remember when I was like six. Yeah. Um, yeah, right. The neighbors asked me to babysit. Yeah, that would be. And about. my mother said, "Oh, sure, Julia, babysit, no problem." <laughs> and I thought, "I'm gonna babysit." <laughs> and it was like, and and. You're how my, old? I'm six. Which which normal because it's six. You often give kids <laughs> six babysit. Jobs. And I'm, I go, Mom, how how is that possible? She goes, Well, if you have any problem, just keep the door open. If you have any problem, just come over and uh, let me know. And it seemed like I just had to go with her program. Yeah. Well, what do you think of that scene? Come on, you're six years old. Come on, look. Come on, let's take a look at it. Right. Well, that, that you're, kind of... You're asking, you're telling her something too, aren't you? Yeah, like I used to like to play. I didn't want to be working. <laughs> <laughs> because you realized what? I was tied down now. Yeah, to be a babysitter at six years old. Right. And that started it, and she would always tell me, oh, you're so good with babies and small children. I like the way you use your hand. Do it again. I mean, I was the big babysitter all my... My life. My life. You're and still a I babysitter. made my own money and bought my own you're stuff. You're still a babysitter. I am. <laughs> right. It comes out of the scene. <laughs> There's something going on in the scene. Yeah. Yeah. Say, um, <clears throat> what state of mind was she in? Come on. <clears throat> she was alive and spontaneous. Hey, alive, spontaneous. 
I had never really seen her like that. Right, never saw her like that. She this. made a decision. Wait a minute. It's an ideal state. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Never saw her like that. Oh. She's looking at you. She's relating to you. Yeah. What do you think of that? Hey. And in front of the neighbor. Hey, right, with her. And she's judging me as competent and... Um, she's judging me as competent in front of the neighbor. She's saying, yeah, Julie can do this, no problem. See, this is also in front of neighbors, see. She looks ideal. Never saw her like this before. Yeah. She was alive, spontaneous. At this moment, wow, yeah, right, she's coming out, isn't she? Yeah. What does that mean, she's coming out in that way for? Well, I mean, she's coming out about what she thinks of me. What does she think of you? She thought I was competent. Ah. And she had never told me that right. before. Right, she must have thought I was Competent or she said I was. Yeah. Yeah, she was saying she can do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's it sure sounds like it and looks like it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So after that, like there was never a babysitting job I would turn down. Well, because look, <laughs> hey, look at it. She came out in this way for you. I am. Never again. Wow. And, and you're, but isn't it interesting that you're talking to her? Come on, what did you say again? Hey, Mom. No, the neighbor lady came over to my mother and said, hey, I need a babysitter. <laughs> And my mother said, oh, well, Julie can do it. She offered me up. Uh, and what did you say to her? I stood there with my mouth open, and uh, my mother looked at me, and I looked at the neighbor, and uh, I said, really? I can do that? Come on, really? Come on, more? And really? she goes, sure. No, no, say it again. I, really? can, I said, really, I can do that? That's a question. And I, I might have Wait said, how is that possible? Yeah. Right. I can do that's a question. Yeah, and how is it possible? How can I do right. that? Right, right. See, you're challenging her. Yeah. Is it likely that you never did that again? Did you ever challenge her this way again? No. Do you find, how are you functioning? <coughs> are you challenging her? Hey, really, can I do that? How is it possible, right? You got a mind. But. Right. But look at the way she appears. Does she ever answer? No. No, she does answer. She says, just leave the door open of the neighbor's house. Okay, look. And we'll leave our door open, Hold and it. if you have any problems, just, look just, just yell. <laughs> the door open. Did it answer the question? How is it possible? Or? Well, the question's ambiguous. The question's ambiguous. Yeah, give a grade for this woman. For answering your question. How's she doing? Well, how is it possible? Yeah. She, she gave an answer she that said, logistically. Just leave the door open. I mean, she told, she gave, yeah, well, it's interesting. Right. Did that answer? Can I do that? Really? 
Well, I, I, I was, uh, I, I thought, yes, that answers it, so now I'll go with that and run. Yeah, well, you accepted that as the answer. I accepted answer. that as the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Did it answer it, Joy? Well, I tried what? it. What? I tried it. That's how I, I kept the door open. Did it answer your questions, Joy? You know, I had to figure out how to, how to do it when I got there. Uh, did how she answer then possible? your questions? No. Say it again? No, she didn't answer the oh, question. Oh, what do you think of that? How can I do that? Hey, what, what, what do you think of that? She ignored you then? That yeah, right? we didn't explore she, what it would entail or what... what say yeah. that again? We did not explore what babysitting would entail. No. To even answer these. No, no she didn't answer. No. Right? So, no, she didn't answer. Right. But she got me making some dough. <laughs> I made some money. Uh, that seemed to have ended your discussion with your mother. Did it? Ever confront her that way again? Or from that point on, did you then do whatever she... Uh, well, it was assumed that I was the babysitter from then on for those uh, children. And you have to go along? Did all yeah, of these I words had to go fit along. then? Huh? Then I have to go along? Yeah, I went along with that. Oh, oh. You can't say no? No. And therefore you can't make a decision for yourself? Right. Right. Well, that must be very, just quite, quite a, quite a power in this scene, isn't it? To have yeah. such an immense effect. Yeah. And top of it all is this expression, right? That this is her most ideal moment. Right? She came out for yeah. you. In front of neighbors. Yeah. It's kind of weird. What? It's kind of weird. Like she got me out of the house. Oh, is yeah. one, one thing it did. Yeah, she got you out of the house and got you to work. Got me working, got me making money. Yeah. It's so almost therefore... as though it's almost as though she had the same problem. Right. Like wow. she was at, you know, she was told, "Hey, I need a babysitter." And she couldn't help herself. She just had to offer me up or sacrifice, you know, offer. She had to say yes, like I'm doing. What is that kind of offer? What name should we give it? It's a sacrifice. Oh, she's sacrificing you. Yeah. Oh, what kind of a broad, yeah, what kind of a person is she then? She's religious. Huh? She's a... a yeah, she's religious. She's what religious religion, by and the way? she's guilty. She feels very guilty. What? She's guilty. She feels shameful and guilty. Hmm. So she sacrifices you. Yeah. And get you out of the house. Right. Why is that important in this story? Well, she likes to drink alcohol. She's kind of an alcoholic. And I think it's easier to drink, to be an alcoholic alone, oh, isn't it? she can booze up. <laughs> Not right? Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, so you're the sacrifice. Yeah. What, what religion did you say this is? <clears throat> well, the, she was raised a Methodist. Methodist. Uh, is that what Methodists do? They <laughs> sacrifice their daughters? Uh, oh, okay, okay. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, they all do. Yeah. Or is this a different kind of religion? Because yeah. what did it knock out of you from ever doing? 
making decisions for yourself. You have to do yeah. what she says. It's you're interesting because you're the sacrifice. Because because right? I I had a thing in the Methodist Church when I was about three years old. Yeah, I ahead. had I got up and gave a speech, and I, I I've never forgotten the speech. But the upshot of it, I think, is that when the speech was over. I went back down to the seats and my parents wouldn't look at me. My mother wouldn't look at me. I was like, it was like I had just done something awful. And I couldn't, they didn't even have any seats next to them to sit. I, I sat behind them. And in the second grade, our teacher had a tape recorder. She goes, okay, children, today we're gonna tape record our voices. And I remember thinking, oh no. You're not going. You're not doing my voice. I have the worst voice, right? And I was only like six years old then, so by then I had already learned that I had a terrible uh, what voice. What happened when the teacher recorded your voice? I don't know. Did she? Yeah, she recorded all of our voices, and we had to hear it. I thought it was ugly. Did the teacher think it was ugly? No, she didn't say. She didn't think, it was, she didn't tell you it was ugly? No. Did she knock you out of singing? Did it knock me out of singing? So you're three years old. You got up before a group? Uh, the, the Sunday church, yeah. Right? Hey, what do you uh -huh. think of that? And how did they treat you for giving your speech at three years old in the church? Come on. I think they clapped. Huh? I think they clapped. No, they didn't give you any seat when you got back. Oh, the parents. No, no. What does parents. that mean? Like I was bad or dirty yeah. or something wrong. Yeah, there's something wrong. Yeah. 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 Yeah, this is wrong to do this. But By the way, were you doing it for yourself? No, she offered me up again for that. But you got nothing for it. No, except some bad feelings. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like you did pretty good. Yeah, I remembered my lines. But what, what does it mean when you got back and there was no place for you to sit? That was creepy, very creepy. More. I felt like I had nowhere to go. Yeah, it was is that dark. something like this? Yeah. Hey, uh, is this being rather clever to trick you into coming out and then slamming you? Yeah. Isn't that interesting? They trick you into coming out? Yeah. And then you end up the way you're treated, what does it do to you? Well, it's here you are. a bad, right here. yeah, it's, whew. Yeah. Yeah. You, Cause then I don't know, did I do good? Did I do bad? I don't know. Well. So there, but they sure right. know what you should do, which is to go make money and be a babysitter, take care of other people. Is that right? Right. Do it. Yeah. Right. Does that, that play a role in your life? Totally. Oh, totally. totally. Right. They're still living at that. Totally. I can't do anything yeah, for can't myself do a damn thing for that I want. Yeah. 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 So this okay. <laughs> it's in the last paragraph. Let's take a look. Okay. But I have a kind of I hear a voice. Oh. And it's this Korean woman's face. Uh, in the very colorful, brilliant, striped, colorful headgear. It's like a married woman, but older woman, and she's kind of coming up. Her head is coming out of having been down. 
And mm -hmm. she's kind of shaking her head, turning it a little, and saying, oh, I hate myself. So this is just a vision I'm having in the dream. And I think, why does she hate herself? What's going on? And it seems like she had been sleeping or something. She's not aware of people around. OK, now you want to contrast that. It's an important conclusion. Come on. Take a look. Yeah. What you what is the drama there? Come on. Come on. Well it's like what you, come on. You see this? What's yeah. your reaction? Come on. It's like this state. That's like that right. lady has been in that That's state. That's right. That's that state. Yeah. But what do you do? Do you see it? She's really? coming out of it. She's coming out of it. She's raising her head saying, I hate myself. So is she coming out of it or are you? Come on. Well, I see the vision of the woman. I hear her voice and I look and I see the woman's face. And she's coming, she's lifting her head up. Her head has hey, coming out of hey, having been down. You're not reading it. Oh. Come on, do it again. Okay, I, I hear a voice no. and I look. No. And it's this Korean woman's face in the very colorful, brilliant, striped, colorful headgear. No. It's like a married woman, but older woman. No. And she's kind of coming up. Her head is coming out of having been down, and she's kind of shaking her head, turning it a little, and saying, oh, I hate myself. Keep going. So this is just a vision I'm having in the dream. And I think, why does she hate herself? Thank you. OK. What do you say? Come on. Read it again. Come on. Why is... Why does she hate herself, I, I asked. Right. Look here. What are you doing? You're not just witnessing. You got a question. Right. What are you looking for? And I'm asking, what's going on? Why does she hate herself? What's going yeah. on? Yeah, hey, look here. What's going on? Yeah. You're asking, what's going on? Right. Yeah, what's All the, the way reaction? back to your six-year-old scene. What's going on? Right, right, right. What are you doing now? You're asking. Right. You're not. I'm not just helping her. Going along. You're looking for what? Uh, uh, an answer. What do you? What does this mean? What are you doing? What's it mean? Yeah. Are you helping her or are you asking questions? Oh, I'm asking questions. Yeah. What does that mean? Come on. And it seems like she had been sleeping or something. She's not aware of people around. What are you doing with these questions? Come on. Well, I'm asking them. That's right. I'm thinking them. Yeah. And. Uh, but you're not running to help her. No, I'm not. You're doing what? Looking I'm staying for separate. Reasoning. And asking questions for hey, reasons. You're yeah. looking for the reasons for this. Right. Is that what you're doing tonight? You're yeah. looking for the reasons for this? Yeah. Right. Therefore, tell me, in the dream, uh -huh. what is it like for you to <coughs> ask these questions? Come on, what's it like uh, in the dream? When I ask those questions, yeah, what's yeah, it like? Yeah. It's very... Uh, 
right. alive. It's very alive for me. Uh, more, no, no, you changed your words. Come on, what were you going to say? Well. You were going to say free, weren't you? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Come on. But what, um, What's it like? Come on. Yes, you were. Well, it's very um, alive. I mean, Come on, more. When she says. Alive. Come when on. she says, I hate myself, I noticed her emphasis was really on the word hate. Yeah. I hate myself. But what state are you in when you're asking these questions? In I'm really the, wondering. What? I'm, I'm really wondering. And I'm, I'm, what's it like, really wondering? Come on. I feel alive. Yeah, you're alive. Yeah. What's that like? Come on. Uh, I'll help you. Boring. No. Well, tell me. Free. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> Free. Let's see, no way. No, it's not boring. It's, it, it's interesting. Um, and it seems like she had been sleeping. Or she's just not aware of people around her. Um, Come on, you're alive. Come on, back in here. Come on. Well, it's so interesting, that paragraph, because this girl who was going to drive me to the parking lot just said, I'll be back in a sec, right? And I have this big vision. Um, hey, look here. Yeah. Look here, see? Uh-huh. Have, have you been in this state before? That alive? Wondering? Really alive and wondering? Yeah. When? Uh... Recently. Come on, when? Well, in the last couple of days. Yeah. Is yeah. that unusual? Yeah. Yeah. You're in a new state. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I see a different way to go with my life that. Yeah. Hey. I'm let's... wondering why I didn't do it before, but I'm Let, doing it. Hey, so let's cut I'm, through. I'm seeing it, a way to go. Yeah. Yeah, let's cut through a bunch of baloney. Okay. Ever sit? Yeah. Ever get in that state sitting? Yeah. What's it like? That's like totally. What kind of a state is this? Beautiful. Ah, yeah. what would they Clear. do in Buddhism if you're in that state? What do they call it? Uh, I don't know. Good. They call what? it good. Good. They call no. it good. I don't. I, I don't know. I just thought I'd ask. I don't know. But you have been in this state sitting. Yeah. Is that a goal in their system? Yeah. What do you think of the fact that through all of this, it ends up here? You're now what? Uh, You're not helping in the old way. Right. I'm thinking of my own yeah. needs and my own right. interests. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's been the last couple of days, actually. Yeah, those past couple of days must have been pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Pierre. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what a bother. Yeah, what do you think of the broad? Dang. Yeah. Some people are only mothers by name. Is this yours or mine? Hold it. That's it for tonight. Oh, brother. Right. Thank you. Right. Uh, Pierre, uh, next week, Tineas, or something else? I don't know. Just so we know what to bring. Normally, I would say yes. Okay. Oh, okay. As long as we don't have five drinks. <laughs> Probably not here next Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you can talk. Anyone want to come up and say something?